the biggest races in life begin far from the starting line. That's why Jerry Sidoris is driving 2,500 miles to the top of the globe in the dead of winter to help a daughter chase a dream she cannot see. Ha, ha, a girl. Rachel Sidoris was born nearly blind, but has earned a slot in the Super Bowl of sled dog racing. The last great race on earth. The Iditarod. A daunting trail down mountains and ice flows where temperatures can drop to 40 below. They race from Anchorage to Nome, Alaska, through a wilderness so vast it would stretch from Florida to Maine. I function the same way as a sighted person would. I just walk into a lot more stuff. But not here. Her father found a way to help her train safely. Rachel, raise your hand if you hear me. Okay, Two-way radios to alert down. Rachel to danger. There's a boulder in the middle of the trail here. She is the first Iditarod musher to be allowed a spotter. Do you have all the batteries and yeah. um, gloves and hats, hon? It's costly. Rachel and her dad must pack for two teams instead of one. We do sled dog tours for a living and we stay broke racing. Yeah, Rachel means. grew up listening to her dad's sled dog sing lullabies. He used to take me on runs when I was a baby to put me down for a nap. Come here. One day she started dreaming of driving her own team, even camped outside for an entire year to get to know each one better. This boy's always been a challenge to keep weight on. Yeah. And hopefully I can get him to gain a few pounds before the race. Yeah, well, by those standards, I could pull your sled. I eat pretty well. <laughs> but not as much as race dogs. They burn 10,000 calories a day. Rachel and her dad have to pack three tons of dog food to stash along the route. There's only one way to do it, one bag at a time. Race rules insist that Rachel be able to do everything else herself, including changing protective booties, 64 of them every day. Are you going to be a good girl? It's basically who can take care, the best care of their dogs the fastest. At first, some of the other mushers worried about the safety of Rachel's dogs over the 1,100 miles. So the race committee turned her down. Don't you go anywhere. Rachel didn't complain. She set out to qualify, mushing nearly 800 miles over mountain passes with hairpin turns, competing in two of the toughest races around, finishing sixth in a field of 28. Well, the guys have to give you a little respect if you're beating them at the race, you know? <laughs> Libby Riddle should know. She's run the Iditarod six times and was the first woman to win in 1985. Yeah, are you excited? Uh-huh. Can you feel your arm muscles? <laughs> er. <laughs> the Iditarod begins March the 6th, but Rachel and her dad are already driving, non-stop, to the starting line. I think Rachel's victory is the starting line, you know? <laughs> and then uh, every inch along the way will be a bonus for her. Just being there will be like, yes! Victory for a woman who sees only possibilities. Okay, come on. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, with an American story in Bend, Oregon. <laughs>